tremble before the awesome power of the true sun god this is the final fifth tier upgrade that we need to showcase here on the channel we've showcased every other fifth tier upgrade so this is quite crazy but without further ado let's hop right into it all right boys so we're going against high tree on the mad docks and i'm using ocean open tack village super monkey all right so we're gonna be immediately starting off with the tack shooter Ooh, this guy's using the darling gunner no shot boys what if oh my god he is he's going to be using darling farm i already know it boys but dude you can only set so many farms down this map i think it's like only four or five so that's not going to be so efficient for him after all right but i'm gonna have to go for the blade shooter here in a second all right so after this next income boost there we go with that perfection dude two three zero attack shooter during the earlier game rounds we should be absolutely vibing but also so is he okay and this is pretty important because if we both leak no lives we can go way past round 40 and the objective for today's video of course you guys already know is to get up the true sun guy which is the top hat fits your upgrade on the super monkey okay so it's gonna be possible but i think we're gonna have to go past round 40 in order for it to be possible in the first place okay so hopefully this guy just wants to go epic late game with us all right but let's go for the two three zero cross path on this just to be safe yeah look space yellow is here okay so we're gonna have to watch out and be cautious uh with this space eco that he's sending us okay he's also using benjamin dude yep i already know it Dartling benjamin and then he's using farm and then probably ninja Dartling farm ninja in casual mode though bro come on dude Come on, casual mode, we're supposed to just, like, vibe and have a good old time? No, I'm kidding, okay? You can use whatever you want in casual mode. No big deal at all. Uh, but I'm going to go for another attack shooter right above my current one. I think this might just be the play. And, yep, there's that farm. Dude, you're not going to be able to survive for that long, though, because, again, there's not that many farm spots on this map, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So this could end very badly for him or even for myself because if he can't go for that many farms then he might just all at us way before round 40, okay? For whatever reason, too, he's still sending space yellows, so I guess there's actually no need to upgrade this other tax shooter over here. And we're gonna be sending him greens here, okay? Just to, I don't know, like space whites, they could get through, so we gotta watch out for that. Oh, wait, no! He has Ben, boys! He has Benjamin. Benjamin's gonna be able to regen his lives. Okay, so yeah, let's start now space ecoing with these space blacks. He should be fine, though, because he does have a 0-2-2 dartling gunner, and those tend to shred against space blacks and just space eco in general okay but here on round seven he's gonna have to go for another dartling gunner if he wants to be able to fully defend against all of these yellows here and yep there he already goes for that dude this guy high tree bro he knows what he's doing man he really really does like and that's a good and bad thing because you know in casual mode sometimes we get players and they really have no idea on what they're doing and that kind of sucks but if they really know what they're doing, it can get a little bit scary, you know, boys. But I ended up going for another 2-3-0. Maybe that's a little bit overkill, but just want to ensure that we can maintain this perfect 150 life count because we have no tower within our strategy uh, that we could use to regen our lives, but he does with Benjamin. And by the way, boys, with showcasing the True Sun God for today's video, that means I have showcased every single fifth tier upgrade in the game after today's video which is pretty crazy to say considering the game only released what like four months ago so it's a bittersweet feeling because like it feels good to say that i've showcased every single upgrade and i should say almost every single upgrade because technically like i didn't make a video on for example the monkeyopolis because not gonna lie that's kind of like an irrelevant fifth tier upgrade uh but pretty much every single like notable fifth tier upgrade we have made a video on and that is just crazy to think about it right but we saved the best for last true sun god five hundred thousand dollars for this upgrade alone so yeah we need to go past round 40 for this let's send him some space leads here we are not actually going to have the best uh lead detection okay so what we probably should do by the way here too is sell this here okay i'm gonna go for another tax here right underneath it this is going to probably be oh okay we got the first blood Ooh, he probably was not happy about that but i'm gonna go for an overdrive i know overkill boys and let's go for a village up here too because we're gonna need that juicy camo detection because without the radar scanner village the tax shooter has literally no camo detection but now we should be chilling um unless he sends us camelettes camelettes we could leak down to so if that is the case we could go for another tax shooter no 
We didn't have enough room to go for another attack. I mean, we could go with it like off the side, but let's just hope and pray that he never ends up sending us those, okay? But I'm gonna also go for the bottom path here because eventually I would like to go for Monkey Town as early as possible. This guy over here too, he's farming pretty hard. He has, uh, I think he's going for the central market. Yep, on round 14, pretty solid. Well, well freaking done. <gasps> wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, Oban, just pop those all up all down for me i think the 230 should be able to clean up in the back of the map okay okay because of that i know that was sloppy i'm sorry guys i'm very very sorry but let's go for the hot shots and then yeah 302 cross path should be the way to go that was really really scary okay so we could keep this in the back of the map or we could sell it for 1200 dollars. yeah let's sell that okay because uh, the sooner that we go for the monkey town, the better. Got the monkey town up, ladies and gentlemen, here on round 16. So on round 17, if he really wanted to, he could send us a mob class balloon. So we have to watch out for that. But hopefully he's picking up what I'm putting down. I, I kind of just want to vibe, you know? And by the way, too, with this true sun god, I want to go for a max true sun god. So we have to make sure that we have $50,000 worth of sacrifices from each and every category. So if you don't know what that means, pretty much when we go for the sun temple at first... Got to make sure that we have 50k from the primary section, the support section with the village, and then the magic section from uh, the super monkey, okay? Because that's going to buff our temple ultimately a lot more. So it's super, super important that you have decent sacrifices. And the best level is up to $50,000 with every single category, all right? If you're still confused, I'm going to link down below in the description the balloons wiki because it explains it a lot better than me. But I went for the monkey city. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, so we kind of went for that a little bit late, but it's not a big deal at all, I don't think, okay? And we already have 2300 eco for round 18, boys. That's really, really solid, okay? Let's also remove this obstacle because, yeah, it's kind of just getting in the way, you know? And I want to eventually switch over to eco win with purples. Purples are not as efficient as pinks, but we can increase our eco by so much and so quickly. Oh, he's also using super. Dartling farm super. I like that strategy a lot, actually. Well done with that, all right? So super v super, but we have the village within our strategy. That's kind of why I like our strategy a little bit more, not to be biased, but of course we have the bottom path so that we can get more money from sending eco. We have the homeland defense as well. And since we are using a primary tower being the tax shooter, we could also, if we wanted to, go for a primary expertise, okay? So we've got a lot of different options, boys, okay? But I'm going to end up starting uh, to send purples here. Now, I don't know if he's actually going to be fine, though. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Okay, I, I don't want to kill him. <gasps> oh, my God, Rocket Storm or something, please. Rocket Storm or something, please. Okay, he, he's not dead. That's going to hurt a little bit, but he should be able to regen those lives. Oh, my God. Don't tell me he's dead. Holy crap. He leaked down to 48? Bro, let me just eco with purples, man. I don't know. Like, I, I really, really want to eco with purples, but... I, I can't allow him to die at the same time. And you know what, too? We're actually going to end up going for a super monkey right about here. So this could be potentially the true sun god, right? Because uh, I want it to be in a decent spot where it has almost full map coverage, if not full map coverage, okay? So, yeah, I, I feel like this should be pretty good. We should probably also upgrade this a little bit, yeah. For sure, okay, so we could go for a sound avatar. That's a little bit overkill. We should be fine. We gotta watch out for round 26 DDTs because this guy could rush us. Oh, he could fit three farms down there? I think I knew that. Yeah, I definitely knew that. All right, so I went for a 002 village nearby so that these upgrades are gonna be a little bit cheaper because if you think about it, like, we could literally sacrifice all of these. And whenever you go for the temple, by the way, it does not sacrifice your heroes, so don't worry about it. Sacrificing Obin, he's gonna stay with us. Uh, he's going for a bank interesting okay so we gotta watch out for round 26 once again so because of that i'm gonna go for a dark knight here maybe even two uh i don't think he's going to be sending us any though so we should be in the clear and he went for the monkey nomics on that farm up there interesting dude he has a wall street he should go for a banana central as well but again he can't really necessarily spam research facilities on this tiny tiny map and it really sucks, boys, that we could never send him purples, by the way. He literally would actually die. So I, I just don't want to risk it for the biscuit. You know, I'm not even going to risk it because I know for a fact he would die. He only has a single Hydro Rocket Pods. He, he would need a lot more in order to pop this down because, of course, Dark Knights cannot pop purple balloons. All right, so it's round 30 here. BFB is here. We should be absolutely fine. I'm going to start trying to, like, get more money into our defenses. All right, so this is 45k, so... 
that should be pretty close to 50k because we gotta make sure that we have 50k worth the sacrifices for the temple just the regular fourth tier sun temple as well okay so just to be safe i'll also go for an overdrive and then that should be enough uh 50k worth of the primary okay so we gotta go we could just go for a dark champion that definitely is going to be over 50k but that is also fine we could just do that and then homeland oh yeah if we go for a homeland we definitely okay so it might be a little bit overkill but i, I would rather be safe than sorry i want to make sure that this temple is max okay so I'm gonna go for this. This is a weird cross path, by the way. 0 5 2 Homeland. Normally it's a 2 5 0 because of the jungle drums, but you know what? It works. And I think High Tree is picking up what I'm putting down, ladies and gentlemen, all right? He's spamming Dark Knights on the map, okay? So that tells me that I think he wants to go late game with us, all right? And I'm all for it. All right, so now he has the MAD up on his side. So let me try to send him purples. Maybe he could fully defend against those now um doesn't look like it doesn't look like it okay it's too close for comfort it's too close for comfort boys i really want to equal with purples man but again i want to also go epic late game of course so we cannot risk that so now we can go for the sun temple as well here okay so let's just go for that it's going to sacrifice everything oh it's sacrificed over here too wow that's actually crazy okay so now we need to save up five hundred thousand dollars we have a super storm in this it gives us money dude this is going to be freaking sick, man. But we got to make sure, too, that we get 50k worth of sacrifices once again. So if we just do what we just did with the sacrifices, so like a, a homeland for support, a dark champion for the super monkey, and then an infernal ring and overdrive, then we should have enough. Dude, look at this. We're already struggling, too. Isn't that insane, guys? Oh, my. All right, so we're going to stop Eco in here at 12,002 Eco. Round 39, we have 100K, okay? So things are looking pretty good for us, if you do ask me. By the way, the range increased after I just went for the Sun Temple. So I'm assuming that's going to sacrifice this village, possibly. Uh, but just in case, we still went for a Homeland, and we have the Homeland ready to go. We have the Infernal Ring here, the Overdrive, and then, of course, the Dark Champion, all right? And two, very, very cool thing with the Sun Temple is that it discounts every single tier upgrade. So look at the Legend of the Night. Normally 240,000, now it's 228,000. So that's a really cool feature. And also, too, once we go for the True Sun Gun, I think it like deploys Parma Spike spikes on the map, which is kind of cool. It has the Superstorm from the Druid 2 on it currently. Dude, there's just so many different cool and unique things with it. And that's because we got the $50,000 uh, worth of sacrifices from each and every single category, except for military because we can't have military, but we did all what we could. And here comes the round 40 Zeo. OMG, okay, so let's see how well we do. Dude, <laughs> the Superstorm just pushing it back. Literally, with him Dark Knight spamming, it looks like he is doing much, much better than us. He has a lot of the map filled, so honestly, I think he's going to be absolutely fine. Yeah, look, dude, we still aren't even close. And mind you, we have a Dark Champion here as well, dude. That is actually crazy if you think about that, all right? But we have $330,000, round 41. We're going to be able to get this thing up, boys. We are literally actually struggling out here to the AI right now, boys. But we are so, so close. Okay, wait. Should I use a homeland? Dude. Oh, my God. We could also sell this for an extra $11,000. But I don't know. Like, we did go for the homeland. It was discounted, though. So, like, I'm pretty sure it's worth... Yeah, it has to be worth 50K. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. But... I might have to use a homeland defense here because round 42 AI is absolutely no joke. The ramping in this game is pretty nuts, okay? But $452,000, boys. We are closing in on 500K. The moment we have all been waiting for, boys, all right? We barely have $500,000, all right? We're able to buy finally the true sun god. So let's go for it right freaking now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and see, it didn't even freaking sacrifice that. That definitely was within range. Look at the perma spike on the map. Oh my god, my first time ever getting this up. Oh my god, dude. Wait, w looks like... No, no, no. I think we're chilling. I, I hope we're chilling. Look at the range on it. Okay, so we definitely... I think the better cross path then, because I want a uh, map-wide range, is going to be the 520. This won't have camera detection, though. Okay, so that means we're going to have to go for um, an MIB somewhere in here. <laughs> And then after that, we should be fine. I also would like to go for a homeland. Okay, so let's sell this. We can just go for the homeland all the way down here. Okay, how about that, ladies and gentlemen? And we also get these little sun avatars too. Oh, DDT is on round 45. Easy freaking claps right there. But yeah, let's go for this epic range. Oh, yeah. That is practically full map coverage now. 
with the true sun god okay so i hope he eventually ends up rushing us i guess we're just gonna stack up our money and then on round 50 whether he likes it or not we'll send him as many bad's as we can i mean look at these things go by the way this little sun avatar right here already has 175,000 pops and we have multiple of them on the screen okay so that's pretty cool let's see how many pops okay so 2.2 million pops so far with the true sun god and it looks like our opponent over here high tree is slowly but surely starting to sell their farms he might rush us here and honestly if he wants to i'm completely okay with that because we have the true sun god now on the screen but dude should we go for a legend of the night if we're about to leak we could do that oh yeah he's going to be rushing us here okay so we're gonna be going oh my god look at the range on this thing though it's gonna be crazy okay so yeah we might as well just go for this let's go for the 205 once uh we can have enough money for that he's gonna be able to send us so many bad's here boys so many bad's it's not even going to be funny dude oh my god man do, do we defend this do we defend this i don't think so boys but we can tank lives with the legend of the night all right so I'm feeling confident with that. Let's just go for that actually right now too. Let's use a homeland. Tower boost this as well because I think this is now kind of in the range of the Legend of the Night. I think so, boys. Okay, I'm going for the defend. I don't even care, boys. Okay, he's going to end up balloon boosting those as well. Ooh, can we defend this, ladies and gentlemen? We got to make sure that we micro this homeland Bruh. here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, we're back. Wait. Wait. It's like frozen. What? Um game <laughs> i think my game might have crashed but dude we were actually shredding low-key the first few sets of bds i think okay and then we're gonna be able to oh wait wait oh we're not crashed okay we're good we're chilling one eternity later oh what the wait where's my true sun god uh what? <laughs> wait, wait a minute where the bds go what is this game dude oh i got the victory oh okay <laughs> oh the f's in the chat for that but dude thank you to this guy for going late game with me the true sun god clearly it should be illegal because you literally cannot even play the game without it having so many connection issues and if you guys have not already make sure to check out this video where i show you guys how i beat the elite vortex boss balloon that has over 33 million hp it gets really really intense too